Hello everyone, in this video, my friends and I will talk about measures of central tendencies. Our group name is greater than zero. The members of this group are me, Shaza, Kaisa, and Hidra. Now let's get started. First of all, what is the measures of central tendencies? Measures of central tendencies are measures that show the position of a group of data and describe the information of that data with only values. We use numerical values called averages to represent this data. These numerical values are usually not located near the extremes of the data but instead are always found in the middle. Hence, these averages can be referred to as measures of central tendency. The three types of measures of central tendencies are mean, median, and mode. The first one is mean. Mean is the value obtained when the sum of data values is divided by the number of data. The formula for mean is mean equals to the total value of data divided by the number of data. Mean for the data in the frequency table can be calculated by finding the sum of the data from the corresponding frequency divided by the number of frequencies. Lastly, mean for group data, we have to classify the data to a specific group. So before the mean is determined, we must find the midpoint of this class to represent that class. The second one is median. Median for a set of data with an odd number of items is the value in the middle, while median for a set of data with an even number of items is the average value of two numbers in the middle arranged in ascending or descending order. Median for even or odd numbers of data in frequency table needs to be calculated using the formulas shown below, with n as the total frequency. The third one is mode. Mode of a set of data is the highest value of its frequency. If there are two modes in a set of data where the highest frequency is equal, then the set of data is to be set as no mode. For example, look at the questions below. For question A, the mode is 4 because it has the highest frequency which is 3. For question B, there are two modes because both coffee and tea has the highest frequency which is 3. For question C, there are no modes because none of the numbers is repeated. Now, I will pass to my friend Kaisa to continue. I will talk about body mass index or BMI. So what is BMI? BMI is a value derived from the mass and height of a person. The BMI is defined as the body mass divided by the square of the body height and is expressed in units of kilogram per meter square. A high BMI can indicate high body fatness. BMI screens for weight categories that may lead to health problems, but it does not diagnose the body fatness or health of an individual. These are the categories of BMI. There are five categories which is underweight, normal, overweight, obese, and extremely obese. Now, we will present our data collection. The method used to collect information are Google Form, Survey, and WhatsApp. Here is a list of data collected from 50 students. The data we collected contains gender, height, and weight of every individual. Based on the pie chart, we can see the highest number of students' BMI is normal, followed by underweight, overweight, obese, and extremely obese. This is the calculation of the data obtained using measures of central tendencies. This is a frequency table, so we need to calculate the mean using this formula, which is mean equals to sum of frequency times by midpoint and divided by the number of frequencies. Thus, the mean of this frequency table is 21.891. Next, the median is calculated by using the formula median equals to average data at position n divided by 2 and n divided by 2 plus 1 which n is the total of frequency. The total of frequency is 50. As we can see, the median is calculated by adding the data at 25th position and data at 26th position divided by 2 which equals to 20.7. Lastly, the mode for this frequency table is 18.5 to 24.9 BMI as it has the highest frequency which is 23. These are the most appropriate measure for central of tendencies. Mean is chosen as a measure of central tendency because it involves the entire data. 
When there is an extreme value, the mean cannot give an accurate interpretation of the data because the extreme value affects the mean. Median is more appropriate measure of central tendency to use when there is an extreme value because the median is not influenced by extreme values. It is the value at the midpoint of the set of data. Mode is a more appropriate measure of central tendency when the set of data involves non-numerical values like category data. Additionally, mode is also suitable for favorite or popular items. Here are some suggestions to stay fit and healthy. We are suggested to eat a balanced diet, consume less salt and sugar, reduce intake of harmful fats, be active, check our blood pressure regularly, always stay hydrated, get enough sleep and rest, do not skip meals, avoid processed food, and go for monthly checkup. Try answering these questions and comment down below. That's all from us. Thank you.